Hello, and welcome to DRQ. I'm here at Clark Planetarium. It gets pretty cold here on the planet Earth, but it gets much colder on other planets and moons. So, what is the coldest place in our solar system? In this video, I'm going to be discussing the coldest surface temperatures of astronomical objects in our solar system. I didn't include the gas giants because it's hard to measure a surface temperature when there's no surface. It's currently negative 10 degrees Celsius. Temperatures here on Earth have gotten as low as negative 89 degrees Celsius. Mars, just like the Earth, has polar ice caps. They are mostly water ice. The surface of Mars can get down to 130K. It sounds like I'm saying 130,000. I better just say Kelvin. And why am I giving the temperatures in Kelvin? Because I can. Next is Titan. It is a cool place. Literally. It gets down to 94 Kelvin. It's the second largest natural satellite in the solar system, and is larger than the planet Mercury. It's the only place other than Earth where bodies of liquids are on the surface. In Titan's case, they are lakes of liquid methane and ethane. It is the farthest place from Earth where we have landed a probe on the surface. Now we're on to Io. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. It's getting dark. Oh, there's a volcano going off. We're all going to die! As you could tell, Io is an active place. It can get down to 90 Kelvin. Iapetus also gets down to 90 Kelvin. I love colored pictures of the planet Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun, but because it has no atmosphere, temperatures on the dark side away from the sun can get really cold. It gets down to 80 Kelvin in its permanently shaded polar craters. Ganymede is the largest natural satellite in the solar system, and is about two-fifths the size of Earth. On the surface, it gets down to 70 Kelvin. Oberon gets down to 70 Kelvin, Titania, 60 Kelvin, and Rhea is 53 Kelvin. Europa has a water ice crust that can be as low as 50 Kelvin. It will be the focus of future NASA missions to check out the ocean beneath its icy surface. Triton gets down to 38 Kelvin. Next up is Pluto. When I was there, I felt around on all the trees and could tell it was Pluto because of the bark. The New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto in 2015, so we got some nice close-up pictures of its surface, which can be as low as 33 Kelvin. Now this is probably a sore topic for a lot of you. I, for one, was upset when Eris was demoted to a dwarf planet back in 2006. It was always one of my favorite planets when I was a child. Back then we just called it Planet X. Maybe one day the IAU will reconsider its position. The surface of Eris can be as low as 30 Kelvin, not too far from absolute zero. We know that Haumea is less than 50 Kelvin, and is probably around 30 Kelvin along with the other dwarf planets, and looks like a big potato. Not a hot potato, but a really big, cold potato. Makimake is also 30 Kelvin. The moon is next. The noun, not the verb. This one was a surprise to me. The permanently shaded polar craters on the moon can get down to 26 Kelvin, which means that according to all current temperature measurements, the polar craters on the moon is the coldest place in our solar system. It's very possible that the polar craters of the dwarf planets out beyond Neptune will have temperatures lower than this, but they haven't been measured yet. So, I suggest that one of you get out there and get an accurate temperature reading. There are links in the description if you wish to learn more about anything discussed in this video. Thank you for watching, and see ya!